Hey everyone, I'm Robin VR, and welcome to another episode of VR Review, my weekly virtual news wrap-up. This program is made possible by generous contributions by viewers like you. Thank you. HCC co-founder and chairperson, Chair Wang, announced this week that they have sold over 140,000 HTC Vives. This is up from the 100,000 sold that they announced back in August. HTC is one of the few VR companies freely giving out sales numbers like this. While Oculus announced that there were over a million Gear VR users back in April, they have never given out sales numbers of the Oculus Rift. Google Cardboard numbers are nearly impossible to calculate, with multiple companies making compatible headsets internationally. However, recently the Cardboard app in the Google Play Store crossed 10 million downloads. The app, which has some nice demos and serves as a launcher for other Cardboard programs, is generally one of the first apps Cardboard users get and a good indicator of overall Cardboard users. Of course, the headset to watch is the PlayStation VR, with an early report of over 50,000 sold in the first week of sales in Japan alone. With its lower price and over 40 million PlayStation 4s already sold, PlayStation VR will easily become the most popular VR headset after Cardboard by the end of the year. At Valve's annual Steam Dev Days, we got a look at a prototype controller for the HTC Vive. The controllers are more compact than the current design and are strapped into the user's hand so you can't drop them if you relax your fingers. Overall, the arrangement looks to be similar to the upcoming Oculus Touch. Again, this is an early prototype with no word on release date or price. NBA Digital and NextVR have announced they will live stream at least one NBA game per week in virtual reality during the 2016-2017 season. The VR broadcast will be fully produced with multiple unmanned camera angles and game breaks to be filled with behind the scenes footage and VR specific commentary. The first VR game will be available for free as part of the trial period of the NBA League Pass on October 27th, costing $200 for the rest of the year. Finally, doctors at Nationwide Children's Hospital in Columbus, Ohio, working with a team of developers, have created a virtual reality game to make getting shots easier for kids. No one likes needles, and children with hemophilia need multiple rounds of blood transfusions every week. The system works a little like Google Cardboard, but with a custom game that is monitored and controlled by a nurse with a second smartphone. Made to distract from the pain and anxiety of the transfusion procedure, Early results are positive, and the team is looking toward developing a system for home use. If you like this video and feel it's helped you keep up with these technologies, please consider supporting what I do with any of these options. If you can't afford to make a financial contribution, please subscribe and share the video with your friends on social media. It really helps. Thank you.